as I exist and breathe my own air, right? I, um, I, destiny, right? So, originally, I've been watching Destiny for a bit, after the JonTron debate, and a lot of people were kind of iffy on him, like a lot of the leftist friends I have, and they're like, oh, Neolib, and I'm like, oh, but he's not too bad, he kind of says some weird stuff, but I didn't realize, like, how slow the decline was into, like, Edgestiny, the arc that we're in now, because I personally feel like old boy didn't have to go so hard on, like, the self-defense Old boy didn't have to go so hard on defending the shooter. I like the debates that came out of it, but come on, man. Do you do 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 you really think this? And I don't know if it's a destiny problem, if it's just the fact that he's trying to like stick out of the pack and like you know, I get it he has his own opinions cuz he's a gun dude, but is this just the anger issues? Are you just not willing to admit that you're just mad as fudge? Are you just willing you're just not mad? Like, are you just, just being like, well, it wasn't me, it wasn't me. And so I've kind of seen this just decline. Like, you know, like I watched a little bit of this video and there's really no meat to it. Like, I've watched the Vosh video, talking about the Destiny video, talking about the Vosh video, you know. And, like, all this video is, is it's not my fault, you know, it's not my fault. And I don't know if, like, that one clip, the one clip got him, but it's just like, really, dude? This is the hill you're dying on? and. It, it's weird because he could at least take it in the way of being like, well, that sucks. My bad. I said some shit. But it's like, no, it was Vosh. He was mean. He 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 went after me. They they said, you know, his little baby excuses. And it's definitely like just stupid infighting, you know. And a part of me just says, you know, what does that say to the people that have definitely come off from him when, you know, he's he was a pretty big figurehead. Like, I heard about Destiny before I heard about anybody. And I don't... I feel like he's just being stubborn. I, I, I don't really know. And I guess my biggest issue from it comes from the idea of it's Vosh's fault. Like, the debate wasn't the problem. It was the fact that you got hose mad on a stream and went off about, like, hunting down O-testers, you know, and, and that's not cool. That's not okay, you know? Like, my dude, that's, that's not cool. And I don't feel like, I don't feel like he learned anything from it because his whole thing was like, well... If people need to report people saying ill igs, like, you know, killing cops, and, oh, well, they need to follow their rules more, but, like, it, that's just throwing other people under the bus. That's just being like, well, if they're going to demonetize me, they're going to demonetize everybody. Like, bruh, you made legal mad. You made legal mad. Like, Twitch would have probably been like, eh, we're going to take some of your VODs. But you made legal mad. And it sucks that he lost his contract. Because honestly, Destiny, like, he had a life. He had a he has a wife. He has some kid kids. I don't know. I don't really pay attention too much. But like Destiny, not too bad. You know? And I guess it just it just sucks. Because like people who are pro Destiny are gonna be like, dang, but it feels like he's gonna start pulling in more right leaning people and it feels like he's starting to go more right leaning for no real reason and you know i guess i just i like the the dialogue of it but just why though like why why make a video where it's just everybody's fault but yours 
it's like, well, cool, but what did you learn? Why? What? What does it do for you to blame Vosh? Like, I watched the Vosh video, and he was like, yeah, dude. He said, like, he's like, I feel hurt. You know, I had a parasocial relationship, and you know, he can't really control his audience, and no, no one really can. So. I don't really get why it's his fault for not just, like, going to his argu- our audience and being like, re, you know, don't do that, don't do that, don't do that, don't do that. And, like, he doesn't know who it is. He even said he banned people. And, personally, I don't really take a side because I kind of see this whole thing as, you know, y'all's problem. But, you know, is there really not a better way than to, like sulk and be like oh it's false fault man twitch should demonetize more man you you know and i get it i've i've watched the whole video i it it says the same shit you're just sulking and moping and being like yeah i have plans yeah i'm pretty cool we're doing it but like in the end you kind of killed like hella relationships and you can even see like other people be, you know, the ones you inspire to be like, well, this sucks. You suck. And, you know, hopefully they go on to do better. Hopefully Destiny doesn't get, like, super fucked from this. I mean, he lost money, but, I mean, YouTube, YouTube do the same. Anyway. Good fight, good night. And personally, I really don't get this whole, like... Vosh hatred because you know it's after that debate but he debated so many people and there's so many clips of so many things and I think he even had like honestly he even had like an anger management coach or like a secondary guy debating that kind of was like putting it in better terms so I really thought he was like trying to put it under him but maybe Twitch just really really didn't like that so my opinion is good luck Destiny and, you know, hopefully, like, the people you inspired can do better. Maybe you should kind of change your, change your name. You know, fuck, fuck being destiny. Be fate. Because you can't escape from stopping fate. You know. Can't escape, escape from crossing fate. Oh, so stupid. Anyway, guys. Have a good.